Number 25, crop circles. After these strange circles started popping up in English wheat fields around the start of the 1970s, they led to all sorts of UFO and extraterrestrial theories. In 1991, however, the two pranksters came forward and revealed how they had made the circles using nothing more than rope, planks, and wire. Number 24, the spaghetti tree. In the mid-1960s, the BBC showed a broadcast about a family harvesting spaghetti from a tree. Afterwards, they received hundreds of inquiries as to how people could grow their own trees. Unfortunately for them, though, it was all an April Fool's Day joke. Number 23, the Tazaday Tribe. It's probably one of the more financially lucrative schemes on this list. Around 1970, Manuel Elizalde, Prime Minister of the Philippines, came forth to the world claiming that he had discovered a Stone Age tribe called the Tazaday on the island of Minandeo. When scientists tried to get a closer look, however, he declared the island to be off-limits in a land reserve. After being deposed about 15 years later, several journalists finally visited the island only to find the Tazaday walking around in blue jeans and speaking a modern dialect. They explained that they had moved into caves under pressure from the minister. Elizalde, however, had been long gone and fled the country with millions of dollars from an account set up to protect the Tazaday people. Number 22. Clever Hans Supposedly a remarkable horse capable of solving complex math problems, reading, and even understanding German, Hans would answer questions by tapping his hoof. Upon investigation, however, psychologists determined that Hans was in fact simply taking cues from the audience as well as his trainer. For example, the audience would start to gasp as he reached the correct number of hoof taps. So, although Hans probably wasn't a mathematical genius, he still made for a pretty clever horse. Number 21 the perpetual motion machine. For those of you who may not know, a perpetual motion machine is any mechanism that generates more energy than it uses. Of course, according to the laws of physics, this is supposed to be impossible, but obviously that hasn't stopped people from trying. Or at least it hasn't stopped people from trying to profit. So, in 1813, when Charles Red Heifer showed up in New York with a machine that seemed to keep itself turning, thousands of people showed up. Eventually, however, skeptics bribed him into letting them take a closer look at the machine. Upon closer inspection, they found a catgut belt drive leading through the wall and into the attic where it was powered by an old man turning a crank with one hand and eating a loaf of bread with the other. Number 20. The Great Moon Hoax. In 1835, several articles were published by the New York Sun claiming that Sir John Herschel had made some incredible discoveries in space using new telescopic methods. According to the article, the surface of the moon was covered with lilac-covered pyramids, herds of bison, and blue unicorns. Later, it was found that the article was very obviously a hoax, and even Herschel himself wasn't aware of some of the claims being attributed to him. Number 19. The Nasarema Written by Horace Minor in the mid-90s, the focus of this paper was on a little-known North American tribe that was obsessed with oral cleanliness. In spite of seeming genuine, it actually turned out to be a satire of other academic anthropological reports. Nasarema spelled backwards as American, and the ritual he was describing was nothing more than brushing your teeth. Number 18. Jan Hendrik Schoen A German physicist, Schoen briefly flirted with fame after a series of breakthroughs in semiconductor research. Not long after his rise to scientific stardom, however, others began noticing anomalies in his data. It was soon determined that he had faked almost all of his experiments, making it one of the largest hoaxes in the world of physics for the last 50 years. Number 17. The Lying Stones It was 1726 when Johann Beringer discovered amazingly well-preserved fossils of lizards, birds, and spiders. After publishing several articles on the topic, it was determined that his spiteful friends had hidden the artifacts there deliberately so as to tarnish Johann Beringer's reputation. According to legend, Beringer spent his entire fortune trying to buy back the books he had published. Number 16. The Sokol Affair A hoax perpetrated by physicist Alan Sokol, he submitted a nonsensical research paper filled with jargon to the Social Text, a journal published by Duke. His goal was to prove that the many journals of the day were nothing more than a pastiche of left-wing cant, fawning references, grandiose quotations, and outright nonsense. In other words, politically correct pseudoscience. His paper was published and almost simultaneously SoCal came out in several other papers pointing to his hoax and making fools of the editors. Number 15. Archaeoraptor Originally being mentioned in National Geographic, the Archaeoraptor was what scientists claimed to be the link between birds and theropods in the fossil record. 
Although many archaeologists had their suspicions, it wasn't until later that it was proven to be a forgery. Number 14. The Upas Tree In 1783, an account was published in the London Magazine about a tree in Indonesia so poisonous that it killed everything within 15 miles, leaving the earth bare and dotted with the skeletons of both man and beast. The truth is, however, that although the Upas Tree really exists and it really does contain a powerful toxin, this story was blown way out of proportion. Number 13. The Secret of Immortality In the 1700s, Johann Cahausen wrote a paper on the prolongation of life, claiming that it could be extended by taking an elixir produced in part from the breath of young women collected in bottles. He later came out clarifying that the work had in fact been a satire. Number 12. Villa Juif Leaflet about 30 years ago, a leaflet was circulated in Europe that listed a number of food additives as carcinogens. It caused a huge mass panic in many countries, primarily France, but eventually was exposed as a hoax. Number 11. The Piltdown Man Probably the most famous hoax in history, the Piltdown Man, discovered in 1912, was supposed to be the fossilized remains of an early humanoid. It wasn't until almost 50 years later that people discovered the elaborate hoax and determined that the skull was actually that of a human male, while the jawbone was that of an orangutan. Number 10. The Fiji Mermaid A staple at the P.T. Barnum Museum, this mummified mermaid, in spite of its fantastical construction, was actually believed to be real by many people until it was proved to be nothing more than the head and torso of a monkey attached to the tail of a fish. Number 9. Derbisol while it's not really a hoax, it certainly is amusing. In order to determine whether high school students are telling the truth on drug questionnaires, test makers will often include fake drugs, the most famous of which is Derbisol. Interestingly enough, it seems as though up to 20% of participants have taken this fictitious drug. Number 8. Alien Autopsy In the early 90s, a short film of a supposed alien autopsy was aired on Fox Network, after which several other news outlets picked up the story as well. It wasn't until over 15 years later that the producer came forward to admit that it was fake. He still maintains, however, that it was based on real footage. Number 7. The Turk Constructed in 1770, this fake chess machine was made to look like a Turkish robot capable of beating even the best human players. After touring the world for almost a century and beating numerous chess masters including none other than Benjamin Franklin, it was found that the robot was actually nothing more than a person in disguise. Number 6. The Cardiff Giant As one of the most famous hoaxes in American history, the Cardiff Giant has allegedly been responsible for the coining of such popular phrases as, there's a sucker born every minute. To give you the backstory though, in the mid-1800s, George Hall, a prominent atheist, had decided to play a prank on some of his Methodist acquaintances by having this huge giant buried in his cousin's backyard, supposedly as a reference to the biblical passage concerning giants roaming the earth. Not long afterwards, Hall had a well dug in the very same spot. Upon discovery of the giant, so many people wanted to see it that several other replicas popped up around the country, all claiming to be the real thing. Number 5. Discoveries of Shinichi Fujimura Despite being self-taught, Shinichi was one of Japan's leading archaeologists. In the early 1980s, he started discovering artifacts that progressively got older and older. Eventually, he stumbled across something that was dated to 600,000 years, which would have been the oldest sign of human habitation ever. Unfortunately for Shinichi, however, several journalists caught him planting the finds in the dirt beforehand. After the photos of him doing so hit the press, Shinichi met with some serious humiliation. Number 4. The Disappearing Blonde Gene In 2002, BBC aired a report about German scientists who discovered that blonde hair would be extinct in the next couple centuries due to being a recessive trait. Barely a year later, the New York Times published a report about how the findings had been faked, but the study has still been cited over the last 10 years in various publications. Number 3. Bonsai Kitten In 2000, a university student at MIT under the alias of Dr. Michael Wong Chong created this website with instructions on how to grow a kitten in a jar so that it assumes the shape of the container, much like a bonsai plant. In spite of the fact that it was very obviously satirical in nature, after drawing international criticism from animal rights groups, MIT removed the website. Number 2. War of the Worlds Possibly no hoax in history has been responsible for causing more widespread panic than the 1938 radio program voiced by Orson Welles. Although it wasn't intended to scare people into believing the world was really under attack by Martians, 
Because the program was delivered in a series of fictional news bulletins, many people panicked and thought it was true. Some even claimed to see flashes in the distance and smell poison gas. And number one, dihydrogen monoxide. Oh no, did you just drink that dihydrogen monoxide? Well, if you know anything at all about chemistry, then you shouldn't be worried. It's just H2O. Apparently, however, most people are ignorant of chemical nomenclature and will immediately associate it with something extremely poisonous. So, in recent years, when various emails have circulated highlighting various warnings associated with dihydrogen monoxide, such as being fatal if inhaled, contributing to the greenhouse effect, and accelerating corrosion, they've managed to generate quite a scare in the general population.